Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about uh, one of my favorite exercises, believe it or not. It's called the dumbbell snatch, okay? So I'm always a fan of doing more power movements than strength movements, okay? We don't get enough uh, power movements in our daily life to be able to create explosivity in reaction time, um, which is also going to create strength as well, okay? So um, a dumbbell snatch is a great way to get triple extension, all right? Which is a fancy word to say driving all that force from this position all the way up, all right? Which is very useful for, you know, running up a hill or jogging to your car in a rainstorm. Um, so being able to apply that power to the floor very fast and very rapidly will yield you power, okay? So the dumbbell snatch, what I coach people to do on is to make sure that you're starting that dumbbell in line as close as possible to your body, all right? Um, so, so from point A to point B, you want that line as straight as possible, close to your body. Almost pretend that you've got like a glass wall in front of you, you don't want that hand to come out and smash the wall. So when you're starting your snatch, okay, you want to think about everything that you normally think about when you're hinging, hinging to uh, move weight off the floor, having a flat back, sticking your chest out, abs stay tight, make sure you're not arching your back, all right? Sitting back, loading your hamstrings, okay? The only difference between this and a deadlift and a squat is now that I'm gonna drive that force off the ball of my foot as if I'm gonna jump straight up. That's gonna yield me that power, all right, to get that dumbbell overhead very easily and effectively. So as I drive off the ball of my foot, shoulders back, I'm gonna drive that elbow high and punch the wrist at the top, okay? So what I'm doing with my arm, I'm making a whip out of my arm as if I'm gonna whip somebody with a towel. It's the same movement of going overhead, okay? So there's no rotation of the wrist. Sometimes people try to like turn the wrist and then the dumbbell goes all over the place, all right? Keep it simpler. You're basically driving that elbow up and then finishing that palm forward, okay? So if the weight is challenging where you cannot really get to here and the weight kind of stops, the next progression is to get under the weight, okay? So you drive up as hard as you can, get the weight up as high as you can, and then sit fast under it and then squat under the weight, all right? Try to do that a little slower. So I'm gonna drive up and then dip under the weight, all right? That's only used from the weight, it's a lot more challenging, all right? So again, a great, great, great drill to teach you uh, power and movement of weight um, and using your whole body, it's great force and not just one, uh, one uh, muscle group, right? Try those simple cues and your dumbbell snatch will be a lot better.